What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome to part 8 of my action RPG series in Unreal Engine 5. So um, in today's video we are going to be setting up the attacking animations and we are going to be setting them up as a combo. So we're going to have 3 animations and each one leads to the next and these are going to be the light attacks so we're going to go with this first animation. We're going to speed it up a little bit because this is a bit too slow. So at speed 76, yeah, it's a little bit faster because, you know, faster games are better. And then we have the second attacking animation, which is this one. And then we have the third one and we can play them like one after the other. Or maybe this is going to be the second one and this one's the third. Yeah, that's a bit better. Um, but yeah, we also have other ones that we can use as heavy attacks. However, I am not going to do so. Actually, this one doesn't need to be a heavy attack. I think this one is a bit better than the others. So anyway, we're going to download the animations and we're going to make them work as combos. And this is going to be a little bit similar to the old series, but also very different because this setup is much, much better. And um, yeah, we're going to do everything using the animation blueprint and yeah that's just how things are gonna be so we are gonna be starting by downloading the animations so let us go to the first one go to overdrive and change it to 75 actually that might be a bit too fast so 70 might be better yeah 70 is great and I think it sucks a little bit because this animation doesn't actually move us forward like a hack and slash game does but I'm not sure do animations in Dark Souls move you forward I think they do so yeah this kind of sucks but <laughs> hey it's just what it is if we want to we can uh, change it the last thing we can replace the assets with marketplace assets and that would be better because so we have the standing melee attack 360 so this is going to be like the second or third animation actually no i forgot i forgot to um change the speed of it so i'm just gonna hit delete on it and then overdrive change it to 70 and download Actually, that might be a bit too fast, so maybe 60 for this one. Yeah, that's a bit better. So the third one is going to be the one that is more upwards. This one. I know this one's more suited for a heavier attack, but I'm still going to try it. So 61. Yeah, that's fine. And same settings without skin and uniform. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert them using the Mixamo converter. So here is the folder for the Mixamo converter. As usual, we're going to go to initial and we're just going to place them there. So standing. Oops. Okay, there we go. Standing. And standing. So we have standing melee attack horizontal. I'm going to rename it to light attack one then the backhand which is this one i think this should be the second attack so i'm gonna call it light attack two and we might set up heavy attacks in this video but if we don't get enough time we can definitely do it in the next video it really shouldn't be an issue because we want to make sure that you know they work together properly and they lead to like different combos that do not look the same as these animations. So yeah, we're gonna have to just use random stuff from here even if it looks kinda ugly. However, I do think that it's fine because, you know, they're just placeholders. Though in root motion, using uh, placeholders is kinda just not great. Like, because, um, you know, there's that thing where the animations are supposed to move the character so if the placeholders do not move the character it's kind of an issue uh anyway we, we can just ignore that for now we're gonna go to content animations sword and we're gonna create a brand new folder i'm gonna call it attack animations and we should open it and drag them all in 
skeleton should be the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin skeleton and the import translation minus 9 and I'm not sure is there anything I've missed you know it's been a while since I used the converter but I think it's fine so we should just import oh actually I forgot to rename uh, I forgot to actually convert them so yeah I'm just gonna go here open the converter and just do it very very quickly okay close it complete light attack and just place them over here and you should really rename them after they get converted it's really annoying that they rename them and add for unreal engine 4 after that because you know we do not want that anyway we should just go to bulk edit via property matrix and enable root motion and we can just exit now we have these animations ready and they do work perfectly so that's fine however what we want to do now is we want to go to the uh, to the blueprint of the character and we want to set up everything so that it actually works so we go to blueprints and we should definitely move the animation blueprint to the blueprints folder I do not know why people put it in the animations folder it's definitely a blueprint and it's used more often with blueprints anyway we should open the animation blueprint and uh, we can go to the anim graph to the state machine that we made and yeah this is it so we want to play the light attack animations from here and I know that it's weird that we do not have a different state machine for a like every single weapon however I do have an idea in mind and I'm gonna set it up so that we can only have like we only have one state machine for this so yeah I just have something in mind and I'm gonna I want to give it a try so yeah we're gonna do it my way anyway we want to drag out of idle walk and add a state this state is gonna be called attack or no light attack one and then we want to add another state and I'm gonna call it light attack two and then we want to add the third state for the third attack so light attack three and as you can see each one of those states actually like moves to the next one after it despite you know like I mean you do not play the second light attack from the idle walk so that's why um, they always have to be one after the other if they connect so anyway in order for us to go to the first light attack we need a few actually no we didn't set up the animation let's just go put light attack one here connect it then go to light attack 2 put it here and connect it and finally light attack 3 so anyway um, we have these three set up but we do not have like a condition so when do we actually go to these animations we want to determine that so we're gonna have to do that using variables and these variables are gonna be inside of the player or the character blueprint not really specifically the player so we go to the viewport actually no to the event graph and the event graph is starting to get crowded so we're gonna go here add the new graph and this is gonna be called the battle graph and in, inside of the battle graph is gonna be where we set up our entire thing for the battle and that actually includes the draw weapon so I'm gonna cut this using control X and paste it here oops I actually pressed Control C so I'm gonna undo cut this again and then paste it using Control V and then we can comment on this and we can just call it draw weapon and after this we want to add another place here or another input which is gonna be for attacking I do not think that we have set it up in the project settings so let us go to the project settings go to input 
and yeah it should be over here inside of the action mappings you can just add a new one and i'm gonna call it light attack and this one needs a space between them anyway light attack is gonna be using left mouse button and yeah that's just it we can just save and then type over here light attack and the input should be here so anyway when we light attack what we want to do is we want to check if we are in combat mode so get combat mode branch condition and connect it to pressed so once we press the light attack we check if we are in combat mode if we are not in combat mode what we want to do is we want to draw the weapon because that's how usually the games are set up so yeah come draw weapon macro put it here combat mode and um yeah if you if you haven't set up set up the draw weapon and you're coming to this part independently you should definitely check it out it was the previous video so go and check it out you will definitely understand even more if you do that so anyway once we set up the draw weapon what we want to do is we want to create a brand new variable and this one is going to be called light attack count and this one is actually going to be an integer and if you put it over here and set it actually before you set it you are gonna um actually yeah let's set up just the first attack now so l set light attack count to be one and then we are gonna delay and the delay should be as long as the attack is so we go to animations sword attack animations and this one is 1.7 seconds long so we're gonna go and make this delay 1.7 seconds long and after that we set light attack count again to be zero so after we have finished um, the attack we set it back to zero and that way we are going to be telling the animation blueprint that um, that like using the integer we're going to tell it to go inside of the like into this one so we can uh, first let's see what the compiling issue here oh i actually added a space between draw and weapon so i'm just going to re-add this node action events draw weapon pressed there we go now we're going to go back to the animbp i'm going to go to the event graph and over here in the event graph this is where we are setting all the combat variables like getting them from the character so i'm going to go here and i'm going to type uh, what is it called um light attack count we get it and then we promote it to a variable and just connect it like this so this one you know we are always getting the light attack count over here and checking if it's like one or zero now we go back to the state machine and this is going to be the condition that we are going to be setting so we get light attack count we check if it's equal to one And we also want to check if we are in combat mode so get combat mode though it's not really necessary it's definitely better to do it so yeah just check it there's no loss in doing that and if you had multiple weapons you can definitely check if the weapon is actually equal to the one that is specified to the animation though we're not going to set that up yet however it is how that works so i'm just going to delete this and this one because we do not have them and it will not let us compile if they are around so we can definitely add them later anyway we have set that up however we want to set up the condition back to the idle walk so we're going to create a condition and we're going to open it and for this one we really don't have to do anything just go get time remaining ratio from the attack and just check if it's less than 0.1 and there you go you can definitely like add as many um variables to check as you want however i do think that this is necessary 
for this part and yeah it should work however we want to disable loop animation because we definitely do not want it to loop and it should work now so let us give it a try we play we draw our weapon and then we press the left mouse again you can see that the attacking animation works however there was like a stuttering after the first time we attacked so we're definitely gonna check that out let's give it a try again okay let me just try it one more time I think I do know what the problem is yeah I get it so if we go back to the blueprints folder uh, I mean to the BP base, you can definitely see where we did this. So when we press, we set light attack to one and then after the delay, we set it to zero. However, there is nothing stopping us from pressing this like spamming it. So once I press this more than once, there was that stuck stuttering thing. So there is a very, very basic way to fix this, which is to just add the do once node. And this do once node will only play it once like even if you spam the button it will definitely not play it more than once until you know something hits this reset so let's just connect it to this one so after the light attack is zero and we have finished attacking we can attack again but before that we like it will not let us attack again so this is what the do, do once node is and it is definitely a lifesaver once you are coming up with your own code like i do so yeah do once node don't forget about it i might make a video dedicated to it so yeah <laughs> that's how important it is so anyway let's give it a try and see if the stuttering still happens oh it does actually happen why is that? Wait, let's check it again. Maybe I was imagining things. No, I think I was imagining things. Let me try it once, once more. It did get stuck a little bit. I think the delay might be a bit long, so let's try 1.5. And... Yeah, I think that was what's the problem. No, that's definitely not what the problem is. Um, okay, we'll fix this, no worries. Um, 1.6 might be better. Okay, and what's the deal with the stuttering? Maybe it's just the animation itself. Let Let us check. So we check if light attack count is one and if it's in combat mode and then we check we check if the time remaining is less than 0 0.1 actually we might just um, try enabling looping and that will let us know like it will play the animation again and we can see what the problem is I think it's fixed Yeah, it no longer gets stuck, which is perfect. So anyway, guys, this is it for this video. I actually had to split it into two because the original video was 50 minutes long. So yeah, I just had to split it and put it in two parts. So in this first part, we set up the attacking animation. And in the next part, we are going to be setting up the combos. So do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel because the next video should be coming tomorrow. And I really hope you had a great time. Take care, have a great day, and bye.